Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you are having a great week so far. So I've been running for about two weeks now, getting back into the grind of things. No workouts or anything, but I have been able to start testing out a new shoe, a new daily trainer I've been running in, and I've been really enjoying it, so I thought I would share my thoughts with all of you today. That shoe is the Brooks Glycerin 19. Let's get into it. everyone before we get into the video today make sure you leave a thumbs up comment subscribe all that kind of stuff it really helps out the channel's been growing a lot lately and I really appreciate it thanks for clicking on this video and let's get into the shoe review so the Brooks glycerin 19 this is a full 50 mile review uh, I've actually got about 57 miles in on this shoe as of today and overall I gotta say I've been really enjoying running in this shoe it's a bit out of my wheelhouse in terms of uh, the type of shoes I've usually run in but I've been very much enjoying this shoe but before we get into my thoughts on everything, let's break down the details of this shoe. First things first, we have our weight. So the Glycerin 19 comes in at 10.2 ounces or 289.2 grams for a men's size 9 and I'll also put up the women's size uh, 8 and weight for that as well. Uh, I can't get that off the top of my head, but that's right here. Overall, it's a bit of a heavier shoe than what I'm used to. I tend to lean towards the lighter weight kind of shoes. But despite the weight and everything, I do have to say the shoe overall is very solid. I enjoy running in it. While it is on the heavier side, I don't mind it that much. The shoe is definitely an easy day or a daily training type of shoe. So overall, the weight isn't too much of a factor for me when it comes to this shoe. And I have to say, despite the weight of the shoe, overall, if I try and come up on like a quicker, steady pace, somewhere around like six flat to 620 pace, I don't really feel like the shoe's holding me back that much. I haven't been able to really bring it down to like a marathon type pace where it's in like the low five minute paces, five flat to 520. But I really don't intend to do that with this shoe. Uh, I don't see this shoe as a workout type of shoe, but on the the steady end of my pace around that six flat range the shoe still holds up really well and I really don't think it's holding me back in any way overall when it comes to the weight of the shoe specifically I'll probably just give it a 6 out of 10 not great because it is on the heavier side but it's not going to really hurt the shoe that much since the weight doesn't hold it back too much next up we have the upper of the shoe as you can see it is a sort of engineered mesh upper some simple overlays soft lacing there is a semi gusseted tongue nothing too fancy going on here we have the heel counter very stout very sturdy has nice support as you go along for pronation overall a solid upper I wouldn't say anything to write home about but nothing that really hinders the shoe in total so I kind of give it an average of 7 out of 10 next up we have probably the meat and bones of the shoe which is the midsole it does have a bit of a higher stack height than most training shoes or it's in that higher stack height range has a 36 millimeter stack height in the heel and a 26 millimeter stack height in the forefoot giving a 10 millimeter heel to toe offset drop. The midsole is complete midsole of EVA foam which is infused with air. Brooks calls it their DNA lock midsole. I have to say it's very soft you know you can see a little bit of durometer really push it in there right you know not even pushing that hard and goes all the way. Super soft shoe, really comfortable underfoot. The stack height, even though it's kind of high, I don't feel any sort of instability when I put the shoe on, unlike some other higher stack height shoes. So I have to say, great overall midsole, not too narrow, not too wide, perfect comfort, no real complaints for me here. Overall, I would give the midsole a 9 out of 10. Next up, we have the outsole of the shoe. As you can see, there's a lot of blown rubber here and like a nice thick layer of it too. I have to say, 
Overall, I have no issues. It handles really well in wet conditions. I imagine it would hold well in some snowier conditions as well. I can't say for sure since I have not been able to run in the snow since this is kind of my summer training now that I've gotten the shoe. But no complaints, solid traction with the shoe. And combining the nice solid outsole and traction along with this nice thick midsole of EVA foam, I would have to put my durability prediction for the shoe at 500 plus miles. I could actually see the shoe going maybe even 600, 700 miles. As you can see, you know, it got 50 something miles on it now. There is not a lot of creasing going on in the shoe. And the outsole of the shoe, you know, looks great. Nothing, no big wear and tears. Shoe is super comfortable. No, no issues with the upper. I really think this shoe could go the distance. I don't want to say anything more than 500 miles for sure because I've had some shoes that last me 700 miles and then I buy this a second pair of them and they only last me 450 or 500. So definitely think it will make it to that 500 mark and I even think it could go beyond that. If you've run in the Glycerin 19, comment down below, tell me how far or how long, how many miles or kilometers they lasted for you. The next thing I want to talk about is the sizing of the shoe. I've been speaking with my friend who works in a shoe store and has sold a lot of Glycerin 19s and they have recommended to me that most people who get them usually go a size up because the shoe does run a bit smaller than normal. Um, I have a unique sizing situation where my feet are really actually a quarter size so I normally, depending on the type of shoe, will either just round up to the half size or round down to the full size. But in general, I went up to my half size. I think the shoe fits me really well. The only issue I have had is I have been getting a little bit of blistering on my Achilles from the heel counter. As time has gone on and I put more miles in the shoe, it has gone down compared to when I first bought the shoe and first ran in the shoe. But I will have to say that is a little bit of a drawback for me with the shoe. But overall, sizing really well. You may want to go up a half size. If you do have the opportunity to go into a store and try on the shoe before purchasing, I would highly recommend doing that. But overall, for my sizing score, I would definitely give the shoe a nine out of 10. It's a really comfortable fit. I have had no issues aside from the slight blistering, which is stopped after a couple miles. But in terms of sizing, fits very well, no issues here. So for my overall thoughts on the Glycerin 19, I do have to say it's a really enjoyable shoe. I really like running in it. Yes, it is a bit heavier than what I'm used to, but it definitely gets the job done for an easy day or a daily training shoe. I definitely like having a shoe like this because I know sometimes on an easy day, I feel good and you just kind of want to start going and going and going. But I feel like sometimes I can put this shoe on and it reminds me, you know, hey, keep it easy. This is what today is for. You know, when you want to get after it, save that for your workout later this week. Overall, I don't think I would use this for a workout type of shoe. While it does handle some steady pace pretty well, I'm not going to take this, you know, to try and run like a five minute mile in these shoes. They're just a bit too heavy and a bit big. If you're looking for a shoe that can be a daily trainer, but also a marathon racing shoe, I wouldn't say this is the shoe for that. It's really just for easy days and daily training runs. If you are interested in like getting a shoe for walking too and stuff in addition to running and whatnot, I think this would be a great choice. I do know people who have gotten the shoe really just for walking because they do walk a lot and they love it, they rave about it, great shoe and all that. Again, it really comes down to the comfort of the midsole the solid fit of the shoe and the durability of the shoe. But overall, those are my thoughts on the Glycerin 19. I would end up giving it an overall score of eight out of 10, eight flat. It is a really solid shoe. It gets the job done. And for the price point of $150, yes, it's a bit up there. Not thrilled with that price point, but I do have to say, I do think the shoe will last and you will definitely get your money's worth out of this shoe. But that is all from me today, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. Once again, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thanks.